Hello, this is Kirk Cass, is presented a case study for the selection of inherently safer chemical roads. Making decisions involve choosing among competing options and nobody wants to make bad decisions. The selection of the most appropriate chemical process route is a good example of this, like uh, the one that we have here. <coughs> Since different process routes can be used to produce the same chemical, in, the case, in this case it's uh, acetic acid, Alternatives, these are, these are different chemical roots, must be evaluated. Paths that use the cheapest raw materials and produce fewest byproducts are preferred. But the negative impact of a particular chemical root in an environment must also be minimized. The idea is to select a chemical root that is inherently safer. The objective of the of an inherently safer design approach is to reduce hazard at the source instead of controlling them with add-on protective barriers. Information required for the chemical route selection includes the stoichiometry, temperature, pressure, the yield, conversion, the catalyst, the heat of each reaction, also the value of the products and the raw materials, as well as safety and environmental consideration. Any of these can be considered as criterion for that measures the impact of each chemical route for the purpose of decision making process. Uh, usually, the alternatives are evaluated against safety, the cost, the process condition, and exotermity criteria. This screencast shows the multi criteria decision eight, a, a MCDA for short that could be helped to select the most promising chemical route by a simplified procedure in the electro method. A typical decision problem requires information about the alternatives and also a set of attributes also known as criteria uh, upon which the alternatives are evaluated and the corresponding weights of the criteria. The weights are numerical representation of the preference of the decision maker, commonly based on background information and experience. It is assumed that if WI is greater than WJ implies that the criterion I is regarded as more important than criterion J. The alternatives, the criteria and the weights are the main ingredients of any decision making procedure. The scores, that is the evaluation of the JATE criteria for the IT alternative, is represented as GJAI or simply GIJ. They can be either qualitative or qualitative. These scores are best represented in a table or in matrix form, the decision matrix form as shown here. The electric method which we present here is the electric number one, consists of two major stages. First, the construction of the arranged relationships between alternatives by a pairwise comparison. And second, comparing and ranking the alternatives by order of preference. This is the exploitation of or distillation state. The electron method is based on computation of two matrices, named matrix of concordance and matrix of discordance. The concordance instance forms the concordance matrix and is calculated as the sum of ways for those criteria, where alternative H or ranks alternative K as given by this expression. The discordance index, which forms the elements of the discordant matrix, measures the relative disadvantage between each alternative. It can have two values, either is zero or non-zero, where delta is the range of the scale associated with the criterion J, that is, the greatest absolute difference of any criteria. The statement of the dominance test to decide whether the ranking relation ASB holds or not 
is as follows. Alternative AH will dominate alternative AK if and only if the concordance index HK is greater than P and also discordant HK is less than Q. The concordance uh, treasure value P above the about which the decision maker is sure to of a strict preference is also known as the preference threshold. It must be defined by the decision maker as high as possible, or it can be determined as the average concordance it is as given here. Then the preference index P must be selected as greater or equal to the average. Similarly, the discordance threshold Q is the indifference threshold can be calculated as given by this formula. The next step is the determination of the aggregate matrix uh, dominance matrix capital E, also known as the or ranking matrix, which is a uh, form taking into account the outranking test upon the uh, concordant matrix and the discordant matrix. It is done as follows. First, Dominant matrix F is determined as follows, using the concordance index. Then the discordant dominant matrix H is determined. Finally, the elements of matrix E are de obtained by combining matrices F and H in a Boolean product. Each one in matrix E represents the dominance of one alternative over another. It means that the alternative indicated in the row outranks the that indicated in the column. And this concludes the exploitation stage. This study proposes another approach to identify the preference ordering of the alternatives in the exploitation stage. By applying the dominance test for every order pair of alternatives to find patterns of dominance among the alternatives using tables instead of Boolean product of matrices. During the exploitation stage of the method, two dominant sets must be determined. The first step is, set, is the set of dominant alternatives, and the second is the dominated alternatives. The dominance pattern is firstly built up by using the dominance test in the row-wise manner. It gives, this gives the set of dominant alternatives, that is, those which are rank other alternatives. Then a set of dominated alternatives is obtained by using the dominance test in a common wise manner, those which are outranked by other alternatives. Finally, to determine the final set of other alternatives, take the difference between the number of row wise uh, dominants and the number of column wise dominants for each alternative. The best alternative is the one with larger positive difference, the second larger will be the second rank, and so on. The application of the electro method using six alternative rules to produce acetic acid uh, that considers five inherently safety indices for safety evaluation as criteria is given in this case a study. The five criteria considered and these case are temperature, pressure, process yield, overall reaction index, and overall chemical index. These indices are associated to potential hazards of the chemical rows. The lower the value of an index, the lower is the hazard. In other words, it indicates a high degree of inherently safety. <coughs> Data for the Acid process routes is given here. Okay, temperature, pressure, the process yield, and so on. Uh, scores can be either qualitative or quantitative, and may be expressed in different units. But calculation could be simplified when all the scores have been normalized in the numerical scales with identical ranges. For example. When all the criteria are evaluated on a range of 0 to 10 scale and have an increase in direction of preference, that is, the greater the evaluation, the better the alternative. 
this kind of problem could be considered as multiple objective maximization problem. When all criteria are benefit or profit criteria. During the normalization procedure, the scores of alternatives are modified to be comparable and thus normalized performance matrix is obtained. With the lowest score being the most preferred for this case, the scales in order are invert to in order to homogenize the direction of preference of the elements of the decision matrix so as to transform the various scales into comparable scales. This is the final decision matrix. The weight vector is W equal to 3, 5, 2, and so on. 3 is the weight for the temperature criteria, 5 is the weight for the pressure criteria, and so on. Notice that the pressure criteria is considered strongly important because a possible domino effect due to rupture of vessel, while yield and the overall reaction index are equally important. The resulting normalized waste vector is given here. Concordance and discordant matrix are calculated as given here. The calculated value for the threshold indexes are P equal to 0.5, per 0.6, and Q equal to 0.5. The subset that alternative A1 dominate is determined as follows. A1 possible dominates A2, A4, and A6 because, for example, in the first row we have the C12, which is 1, is greater than 0 0.6. Uh, and the same is proved for C14 and C16. But uh, A1 does not dominate A3 since in the first row we found out that C13, which is equal to 0 0.5625, is less than 0 0.6. The same is determined for uh, alternative 5. That is, A1 does not dominate A5. The results of the distillation stage of the uh, for the domination are uh, as given here. Alternative. Finally, we found that the results of the distillation stage for P equal to 0 0.6 and Q equal to 0 0.5 is given here. Alternative A5, that is the chemical role for it, ethanol oxidation, is selected as the best since it has outranked the greater number of alternatives. In other words, it offers more inherent safeness than the other five chemical roads. We reach the following conclusions. A simplified preference ranking procedure is proposed in the distillation stage. The basic idea of the procedure proposed is that it should be better to make the progression between alternatives in the table instead of using matrix multiplication. The proposed procedure is used to context of multiplicatory decision it aiding, and in this case uh, the, uh, it was obtained the base chemical route for the acetic acid production. The main idea of the selecting an inherited safety chemical route is to design a process that produce, reduces risk while keeping people, industry facilities, and the environment safe. In early stages of chemical process design, the proposed procedure based on multi-criteria analysis may be particularly helpful, as has been shown in this presentation.